The 90 Day Fiancé franchise is about the dramatic relationships between people from different countries. And while these relationships were not without problems, the participants in the show often had the opportunity to explain how their cultural country influenced their actions and beliefs. Many 90 Day Fiancé couples struggle to overcome the cultural differences that affect their behavior in life. What is considered socially acceptable in one country is not so in the other, leading to conflicting views between partners. Although I would like to point out that many 90 Day Fiancé couples have successful relationships when they compromise and respect each other, which is obvious, of course. The original 90 Day Fiancé series is about getting a K-1 visa, showing how much time and money it takes to bring someone to the United States. Many couples wait years for visa approval while in a long-distance relationship. Sometimes this process continues even after the wedding. Even 90 Day Fiancé fans write that they add to their learning experience after watching the show. One user wrote, I answered the question on Jeopardy correctly, knowing that Ethiopia is a landlocked country, which is why Beanie and Ari can't afford to buy a car. I like looking at other countries and cultures. It's different from what you see on the Travel Channel, someone else added. All the Travel Channels talk about the country's scenic sites and tourist spots, but 90 Day Fiancé shows viewers the daily lives of the people who live there. Another author commented, I also think it gives such a good idea of American grid. As enlightening as the 90 Day Fiancé series was for the viewers, it also showed the negative side of the participants who refused to acknowledge the other side of the cultural differences. For example, Kim Menzies and Usman Umar disagreed that Usman could take a second wife because Kim would not be able to give him a child. However, it was an eye-opening moment for viewers when they realized that while it was a difficult compromise for Kim as an American, it is a cultural norm for Usman, who is from Nigeria. We must realize that 90 Day Fiancé is a reality show that can sometimes be scripted, but they still have a glimpse into the lives in other countries. From Johnny Slatton going to market in India to Ariella Weinberg celebrating Tin Cat in Ethiopia, the show takes the opportunity to show life in other countries in a way that cannot be scripted or fabricated. So, although the show aims for the usual reality show drama, it is also possible that viewers may be surprised by the academic knowledge that 90 Day Fiancé provides.